would like to talk about a word that has a lot of meaning that really reverberates on a lot of levels. And I'm gonna try to do this in a very few minutes to just give you the bullet points. The word is boundaries. And I think that when I said that, you recognized it, right? I think you probably did. Because in recent years, we, because of the internet, I think, we've become, we've, we've really adopted a lot of vocabulary from sort of like the mental health world, from the wellness world, and I think that's great. And I think that we've learned a lot and, and we can really do a lot to help ourselves facilitate good relationships with ourselves and with others. Boundaries and, and having boundaries is a word that I think is a little bit loaded though, and I just want to put at least my bias about how we could clear it up a little bit. Some people think that boundaries are kind of mean or they're too much. Boundaries are really good and they're really necessary. And by boundaries, what I'm talking about is, where do you end and where do I begin? Because this, you and me, is never gonna work. It doesn't work. We need boundaries with our children, we need them in our love relationships. We need them in all our relationships, whether they're professional, familial, loving, friendly. We need them because we need to hang on to and cultivate our sense of self. We need to know our feelings. We need to learn how we're gonna learn to communicate what we think and what we need with others. And we need to cultivate the skill of really listening, seeing, accepting and working with the other, right? And we can't do that if we're like this. We can't do it if we're like this. Maybe we're like this if we're acquaintances or I hardly ever see you and you just work in my building and I say, hey, with a cup of coffee every week. But if we're in a family, maybe we're like this or friends. But this space in between, that's the boundary. And it's not like, bad, don't step over that line, get off my property. It's not like that. That's not the way we want to handle it, right? But here's what happens really often. Either people are leaping over your boundary and just assuming everything, coming over without telling you first, calling you 10,000 times a day, dumping all their problems on you and never listening to you. It goes on. I'm sure you've had friends like that and I'm sure that we've all had relationships like that. Or you're letting people leap over yours. You're either letting people leap over yours or you're leaping over somebody's boundary. And maybe you don't even know it. Maybe you feel like, no, but I'm really close to them. They, they know that I always, you know, I always need them. No, it can't be that way because you know what? That's unconscious. And, and human beings are acting out of their unconscious most of the time. That's just the way human beings are. But we want to work to be more and more conscious. And one of the things that we can do to build consciousness is to be aware of boundaries and to use them in a good way. Boundaries help us have healthy relationships where we really see and accept and appreciate the other person, where we create an atmosphere of respect, where we're not going to jump over that boundary. We're going to say, hey, can I come in? Like we would if it was a neighbor. We don't just run onto their property and bang into the front door. We go up to their door and knock. That's what we want to do with each other. As well, even if we're caring, even if we want to help everybody around us, we can't have people just coming at us all the time because we're not ready for it. We get depleted, we get drained, and then that's the other side of the problem. A healthy relationship is one where everyone's taking care of him or herself, caring about the other, and wanting to communicate effectively wanting to make bonds, wanting to have understandings. And we can't do it if we don't have a limit to what we can do, if we're not aware of what we can do and what we can't do, because after all, none of us can do everything for everybody. It's just not possible. And not if we don't have a boundary, which is just like, this is where I begin, this is where you end. I'm here and you're here. Just investigate it a little bit. Even if you think you already knew what boundaries were about, Investigate it again, maybe from this point of view, and see if you notice it at all in your life, or see if you can come up with something that's helpful to you or somebody else. Please visit my website at susan-lambert.com or have a listen to the podcast, In the Balance, Connecting Mind, Body, and Heart, which you can find at inthebalance.life.